Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at some of the most important dates that you need to know for the upcoming transition into FIFA 22 Ultimate Team, right? We are just a few weeks away from the new game dropping. I wanna take a look at some confirmed dates and some dates that are not yet confirmed, but should be soon, and just kind of a timeline of what we're thinking as things unfold into the full game being released in what three and a half four weeks from now i'm recording this at the very end of august so as you're seeing this some stuff might have already changed a tiny bit but a lot of this should be pretty spot on so what we're going to be operating off of today is this nice little calendar that i've quickly whipped up here with some information and some some of my thoughts and obviously you see those green check marks those to me are obviously confirmed dates that ea has said themselves like the ea play date that's confirmed early access that's confirmed and the full release date are all confirmed by ea sports so unless it's confirmed by ea it does not get a green check mark but let's start from the top right the beginning first two weeks of september it's going to be a lot of information it's going to be building hype the database is going to be released slowly they did it last year and i think the way they did it last year it's going to be very similar to how they did it this year with the top 100 ratings release kind of releasing 10 players per day and then releasing the full database kind of like at the end of that. Also, we're going to be expecting new icons and ones to watch information very soon. That might have already been released. That's probably going to be coming out here at the very beginning of September because one thing that we saw from the pitch notes earlier this year, the FIBA 22 deep dive pitch notes, there was not a lot of information here about SBCs, about icons, about the companion app or um, other facets of Ultimate Team that have gone un, un, untalked about, right? And you see here at the bottom, it says, we'll have more news in September with our player ratings announcement, new icons, and foot web app and companion app launches. So there's more information coming for Ultimate Team. And that is what I think you will see. The bulk of that information will be in these first two weeks. Now, I don't expect the ratings release to come a little, I don't expect it to come until a little bit later, right? That's why I put it in that second week. We actually might not get ratings until down here, like this, the second full week of September, maybe the 13th, right? But I would expect to get some new information regarding icons, ones to watch um, in this first week and second week from EA Sports. Now, one thing I'll be watching out for, and this doesn't take a lot of work, but just watch EA's Twitter page, right? Even yesterday, they tweeted out the new stadiums that are coming to FIFA 22. They keep kind of putting out promo posts for their game, if you will. It's about one per day. or Yeah, see, August 27th, August 28th. They're putting out a lot of these promo posts talking about new kits, new designs. They're probably going to release the soundtrack as a part of this, the, the buildup and the release to the game. Now, last week, they also posted a picture of this once to watch car design. This was on the day that Cristiano Ronaldo transferred to manchester united so this is the official ones to watch car design tweeted by ea sports and they're kind of hinting at ronaldo being a ones to watch stuff like this i would watch out for in the first two weeks of september i specifically the icons right because we know that we are getting more icons some of them are leaked right but nothing is set in stone yet and until ea talks about those icons and, and talks about what could be upcoming just watch out for their twitter because that's where you're going to get all of the guaranteed information for these next two weeks right these first two weeks are just kind of like all right ea show us the stuff we're going to start building concept squads once we get um you know the ratings and the database put out and stuff like that but it's down here is when we when it gets good right it gets good in this third week of september they did not do a demo last year for fifa 21 i think that was due to covid due to a lot of different things I don't know if they're going to do a demo this year as well, but if there is going to be one released, I would expect it to be on that 15th date. Usually they release it like a week before they open up EA Play and, and all that sort of stuff. The demo could also maybe be on Friday the 10th, but if there is going to be one, I would expect it to be around that, you know, third, second to third week time frame for a FIFA 22 demo. And then one thing that I am expecting is the launch pitch notes. I expect this on Friday the 17th. Again, not a confirmed date, but something that I am expecting. Friday the 17th, last year, they dropped these pitch notes for the beginning, and it kind of talked through the start of how things were going to look at the beginning of FIBA 22 Ultimate Team. Yashir Qureshi, our guy, right? The guy, I, I don't even know. Is he at EA still? I'm not even sure. We'll find that out, whoever writes this year's pitch notes. But basically what they did in these pitch notes 
is they talked about early access for EA Play members, which we know that date. They're going to confirm a few more dates in here too. They're going to confirm the companion app and the web app dates inside of these pitch notes. And that's why I think these pitch notes are such a big thing, right? So they talked about early access. They talked about the objectives, um, what's going to be going on inside of that early access time frame for EA Play and when the web app drops. They talked about the ob objectives, the live food friendlies, the first event they were going to have, but they also released some really big information about ones to watch, saying that there will be exclusive content via SBC and a player pick vote. So that is one thing we'll maybe be looking out for this year in the pitch notes that they'll release. But this ones to watch, this is they they release a lot of the actual ones to watch cards that we're actually going to be in, right? Werner, Ziyech, Bale, Hakimi, Tiago. They confirmed three new ones to watch players. Now, so far, they've only confirmed one. As of the time of I'm recording this video, only David Alaba is the only confirmed ones to watch player. I bet they're going to confirm some more. And then in these pitch notes, drop a few more players to kind of show us more and also give us some more information, right? They said ones to watch team one will be revealed and released on October 9th. That is basically the full release date of FIFA. FIFA 22, or it was last year, FIFA 21, but this year that wants to watch team one, technically it's not confirmed, but when these launch pitch notes come out, and that's why I'm putting a lot of emphasis on these pitch notes, because we're going to learn a lot from these pitch notes when they do drop, which I think it will be on Friday the 17th, um, just a few days before the web app, right? That's how it worked last year. That's how I'd expect it to work this year as well. So again, they talked about the pre-order with the ultimate edition with your guaranteed once to watch item. If you save that for October 21st onwards, you get a chance at a team one or a team two card, not just a team one. So we'll be talking about that stuff. Of course, when this comes out, um, they talked about programs in the launch update last year, which um, was very interesting because I feel like they didn't really feature like this meaningful moment stuff. They didn't talk about that a lot in FIFA 21, uh, although they kind of did it in practice. They did flashback eras. I think of like flashback Cristiano Ronaldo, who had, um, you know, like less stats than his gold card, a higher pay, or was it higher pace, I think, or something like that. But they didn't really like go all out last year and explain, hey, we're using that meaningful moments feature here. So anyways, that's one thing. I'm hoping that they talk about preview packs inside of the launch update or sometime in the next two weeks because we still don't know much about that in regards to FIFA 22. Now, they also talked about icons, right? That's why, again, this launch update pitch notes were so huge. They talked about the dates, right? It was the same as FIFA 20 and in FIFA 21, but they talked about the dates for when mid and prime icons would go out of packs along with base cards, along with moments. And then they also talked about icon SBCs will be introduced from late November onwards. Icon SBCs will be available long-term, but not permanently. You know, specific versions will only become available. All of that information about icons in FIFA 22, we should be expecting with those pitch notes as well, alongside of icon swaps. And then very importantly down here at the bottom, they have a nice little one sentence segment here about the companion app. Jump into FIFA 21 Ultimate Team with a companion app, launching for the web on September 30th and on mobile on October 1st. So last year on September 30th, September 30th was a Wednesday last year and they dropped EA Play and EA Access on the uh, October 1st, literally eight days before the full game release last year. Now, this year, it is already confirmed that the full release of EA Play is going to be September 22nd. So that is a confirmed date from EA's website uh, for EA Play is at 20 on the 22nd of September, FIFA 22. EA Access will be live. That makes me think that the web app will be also dropping on that day as well because I think for like the past few years, web app has also dropped on a Wednesday with the companion app release coming one day after that. So the 22nd of September is a huge day because that is what we are expecting to see as the day when EA Sports will drop the, or the web app and EA Access, right? It's kind of giving me FIFA 19 vibes because last year, FIFA 20, or sorry, FIFA 20 vibes because in FIFA 19, um, there was a window where actually people were getting on the full game of EA Access, the 10-hour trial, before they were getting on the web app, which was very interesting because of how that worked out. Now, last year, the web app came out first, then it was the EA Access. So we'll see what happens this year with that 22nd date. That'll change a few things, of course, and we'll talk about that as we get closer to the date. But that is our first confirmed date we're talking of today is the EA Access 10-hour trial will start 
on the 22nd of September. That is confirmed. Now, one thing I will say is if you guys haven't bought EA Play yet, you don't have to, right? You can wait until September. I would not buy this until September. And then you get your one... Um, you get your one month trial or you, you can basically go one month at a time. And if you're only buying EA Play to get the 10 hours of access, then you buy it once and then you cancel your subscription. They don't do refunds anymore. You used to be able to buy it and then cancel it and you get your money back. You don't get your money back anymore. But that 10 hour access is very nice for getting some rewards, getting into the gameplay before a lot of other people around the world do. So that September 22nd date is confirmed. I think they'll drop the web app on that same day as well, and the companion app will be released one day after. Then, the next big date after that is the FIFA 22 Early Access, also known as the Pre-Order Access. So, if you guys are aware of that, if you order the Ultimate Edition, uh, then if you pre-ordered that, September 27th is when you will have no time restraints, no restrictions, you get the full game, um, and they'll give out some of your rewards, like your player picks, your loan items. Uh, I think, I, again, the big question is when are they going to give out those 4,600 FIFA points since they're not giving out packs this year, which they used to drop at squad battle rewards time frame. When are they actually giving out those FIFA points since I feel like it would be easier for them to do so. Those might come on September 27th. They might come when you load up the web app, but my guess would be that it either come on September 27th or October 1st on the full game release. So, but that is another date that is confirmed. Early access pre-orders you will get on the game Monday the 27th with no time uh, restriction for like EA access. You'll have the full game and you'll be grinding from that 27th date and then finally october 1st is the huge day first promo friday with ones to watch team one and the official fifa 22 release date and on that day we'll probably be getting our guaranteed ones to watch packs if you did pre-order i believe that it even said in here um that first friday um did it say right up in here i think it said right down here the ones to watch team one will be will be revealed on october 9th um maybe it does not say but Oh yes, right here. For those who pre-order the Ultimate Edition, you will receive a guaranteed Ones to Watch item when Ones to Watch kicks off on October 9th. So that this year, that date would be October 1st. So we would be looking to see our guaranteed Ones to Watch packs available on October 1st with the full release date of FIFA 22. So we've looked at this calendar. We've talked it through. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff to build up still. There's a lot of information that we're going to be learning. Again, watch out for EA's Twitter. Watch out for uh, other pitch note releases as we get towards this new game. But these are the big dates. If you want to screenshot this or whatever or refer back to this video, I think this should be kind of how it goes. The only stuff that I'm really not so sure about are these first two weeks. It's just going to be, all right, EA, release us information, tell us new stuff. And then once we get that new information, we'll kind of piece things together. And I think once they drop, whenever they drop these pitch notes, I think it will be on the 17th, the launch pitch notes. Again, uh, this is what we're looking for right here. FIFA 21 launch update. We'd be looking for the FIFA 22 version of that. Once we see that, we're going to get a lot more information about the next two weeks leading up to the full release day of FIFA 22. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate the Vote Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>